session three. Quick recap so you guys can remember session three. So remember, we changed gears a little bit. We started talking about guard passing, and uh, we'll show where we can tie in a little bit to the back take. First thing, elbows always clearing, keeping the feet off the hips. Pick a side that I'm going to pass to. Put all my weight on that knee. Same time I do this, my hand can hold the rib cage or it can hold the lapel. I have to do something to wedge off this knee so he can't create this wedge here. So the sooner I handle that, the better. Now I, I cross knee slide, my elbow's tight. This time, I win the underhook here. So notice here, he's, he, he's gonna be trying for an underhook. I try for an underhook, I win, right? I get good control. This knee steps over, I slide through, boom. In the event that he traps my foot, right? In the event that he traps my foot, my leg kills his top leg, opens. Let's spin a little bit so you can see that. So here, my, my, you can see my right foot's trapped. My left foot here is going to open. Now I'm through. So that's the basic cross knee pass. Now, when, I, when I'm passing here like this, he beats the underhook. When I feel he beats the underhook, I have to lock down up tight here. Hug around the head, hug around the shoulder, hug the arm. If, a little detail we didn't cover, if he gets up to his elbow, I grab under the armpit, I stop his wrist. I don't even have to pull it. I just pin it, and then I move my weight this way. I just help break him down, right? So he can't advance his elbow for a base. I like this under the armpit grip with the gi, without the gi, it's very good control. So now here we have to back step. He's got me caught, he has the underhook, I don't want him on my back. So this leg, my weight favors forward, and my hook, instead of taking a big step, I just kill the hook loop. Catch this. Same time I do this, now I shoot my hips. I cradle the leg. Cradle the leg to help prevent the roll. Now adjust up top, good shoulder control. In this case, he locks down on my foot. He doesn't want my foot gone. Because he knows the next step, I'm gonna further my position so he traps on anything he can. Now that my foot's caught, disengage, shrimp my hip away, turn my heel up, toe down. By doing that and turning towards the mat, I can get my knee to the floor. I push his knee to the ground, I climb up. Simply put, if I can stretch him, sometimes he'll let go and I'll be in the mount. If for some reason he can't, and this hand starts climbing to frame, I can walk it up, I can feed it through, turn him on his side, and boom, I'm on the back. Right, we're right into the back tape. Okay, so you're here like this, right? He's trapping my leg here like this. I climbed up over into the mount, but in this case, he's not blocking, he's not letting me out. He's hugging tight, another, and he's not breaking the grip no matter what. So I'm gonna bring my knee up, across the waist. That stops his thighs from following me. I move forward, pull my leg out. Boom, good control. Let's show that from one more angle here, this way. Here, he beats the underhook, right? I control the head, I backstep, I catch, I disengage, he's trapping my foot. I take it here, he's holding, so I hip up. Me across. Now all my efforts on pulling this leg out. Think about it like a key inside a lock. If my toe and heel are hung up, turn my leg a little bit. Escape it. Control the arm. Boom. Maintain. Good. Now he's savvy to the, he's on to the back steps. So here like this, I come up like that. I good, I'm good control. As I back step, he locks onto my body here. I back step and he's holding me. Just around the body, under the arms, he's got a good control. Very important when I get here and I realize no matter what, I can't create space, there's nothing I can do. So I'm gonna throw myself all the way back to the side I started on into a headlock position. This way, boom, kick over, kick over and hold. Now guys, let's turn a little bit. So now I'm here in a, like a headlock position, right? Same things, open the legs. He might even let go of the leg at this point because he's gonna probably wanna trap that leg. Mm -hmm. But look, I clear the leg either way, sit through, and hold. Once I hold, and somebody's on your back here like this, don't let them make the hook. Gotta let that, hide that hook. Now I wanna take myself this way. Both hips, or both feet, torpedo my hips right over his waist. Boom, now both feet this way. Look, slow motion. Catch, don't let my hips touch. Maintain, good. Good, I slid through here like this, boom, I'm clear. But as I clear, he pops his head out. Now he's on my back. Control the bottom arm, my feet are gonna bridge high, walk towards my head this way, 
and I put my chest on his back. As I turn, my arm goes high up, grab the wrist, over the shoulder and tricep and lock. Once I lock this, Kimura, boom, I sit over, switch my hips, pass and finish. Or if I want, when I made that first, sorry, Joey, when I make the switch, if he's biting down and I'm having a struggle, put all my weight, walk around the horn, use my chest, just like the session two set that we talked about the back take from the side control. What was it, this session? Second. Second session. Chest here, boom, drape it, back take. Good. Okay, so that's when he's biting around the waist. On the back step, sometimes, right, he grabs over the shoulder. He doesn't want me getting to his legs. This is a very good tactic to keep me from attacking his legs. So what I do here, he holds. I'm struggling like this. I bring myself back to the far side again. Basic headlock position, control, right, clear the leg, boom, sit through. Now, as soon as he pops his head out, he's attacking my neck. My hand's got to come right here. Think about it like this. That's it. Don't even try to catch it out front. It comes right here. So watch this. He's holding, right? He's holding. As soon as he pops his head out, boom, I catch it. Now I shrimp, or I stretch. I shrimp my shoulder through a little bit. I have my hips turn. Snag, boom, finish. Bam. Guys, very quick recap on all three sessions. But hopefully, if you have mental notes, or if you have written notes, or iPhone notes, whatever notes you have, this can help you remind of that. Maybe the wording is a little different from what I, what I call it and what you wrote down, but it's a good guide. Watch it, learn it, practice it, and hopefully it will help out your uh, overall game. Thanks.